The disorders covered in this unit are the anxiety disorders and the elimination disorders. Anxiety disorders include disorders that share features of excessive fear and anxiety and related behavioral disturbances. Fear is the emotional response to real or perceived imminent threat, whereas anxiety is anticipation of future threat. Obviously, these two states overlap, but they also differ, with fear more often associated with surges of autonomic arousal necessary for fight or flight, thoughts of immediate danger, and escape behaviors, and anxiety more often associated with muscle tension and vigilance in preparation for future danger and cautious or avoidant behaviors. Sometimes the level of fear or anxiety is reduced by pervasive avoidance behaviors. Panic attacks feature prominently within the anxiety disorders as a particular type of fear response. Panic attacks are not limited to anxiety disorders, but rather can be seen in other mental disorders as well. The anxiety disorders differ from one another in the types of objects or situations that induce fear, anxiety, or avoidance behavior, and the associated cognitive ideation. Thus, while the anxiety disorders tend to be highly comorbid with each other, they can be differentiated by close examination of the types of situations that are feared or avoided and the content of the associated thoughts or beliefs. This chapter is arranged developmentally with disorders sequenced according to the typical age of onset. The individual with separation anxiety disorder is fearful or anxious about separation from attachment figures to the degree that is developmentally inappropriate. There is a persistent fear or anxiety about harm coming to attachment figures and events that lead to loss or separation from attachment figures and a reluctance to go away from attachment figures as well as nightmares and physical symptoms. Although the symptoms often develop in childhood, they can be expressed throughout adulthood as well. This group of disorders is usually first diagnosed in childhood or adolescence. In ICD-10, they are in the other behavioral and emotional disorders with onset usually occurring in childhood and adolescence chapter. Three items from the level one measure are used to indicate the need for further inquiry. These items ask about feeling nervous, anxious, frightened, worried, or on edge, feeling panic or being frightened, and avoiding situations that make you anxious. The more detailed measure is from PROMISE, Patient Reported Outcome Measurement Information System which is a system of highly reliable, precise measures of patient-reported health status for physical, mental, and social well-being. PROMISE tools measure what patients are able to do and how they feel by asking questions. PROMISE's measures can be used as primary or secondary endpoints in clinical studies of the effectiveness of treatment. This measure has seven items with a range from 7 to 35. A score of 28 or higher indicates a severe level ang of anxiety in the past week. There are six severity measures, one for each of the disorders. Each of the severity measures is a 10-item scale with a range of scores from 0 to 40. These are designed to track the severity of an individual's symptoms for the disorder over time completed at regular intervals as clinically indicated. It is useful to look these scales over to get an idea of the questions to ask about each of the specific anxiety disorders. In ICD-10, the two DSM-5 diagnoses that are likely to be diagnosed during childhood or adolescence, separation anxiety disorder and selective mutism, are in the, that section of the ICD-10, while the other five anxiety disorders are in the neurotic section of ICD-10.
If a person has one specific phobia, it is common for them to have multiple specific phobias. When more than one phobia is present, all of them are specified in the diagnosis. This is a partial list of the ICD-10 codings for specific phobias. With the DSM-5 diagnosis, the phobic stimuli are specified in the verbal portion of the diagnosis. There are no different numerical codes for each type of phobia.